Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan has called on the United States to find a political settlement to its war in Afghanistan, before withdrawing from the country, as he ruled out hosting any U.S. military bases, to be used against other countries. Khan was speaking in an interview to U.S. news platform Oxios, that was aired late on Sunday, the Americans, before they leave, there must be a settlement, he said, referring to a September 11 deadline, set by the U.S. government for its troops to withdraw from Pakistan's northwestern neighbor. A political settlement in Afghanistan would mean, a sort of coalition government, a government from the Taliban side, and the other side, there is no other solution, the U.S. withdrawal is part of a 2020 peace agreement between the U.S. and the Taliban, which continues to fight Afghan government forces across the country. As violence surges across the war-torn country, U.S. President Joe Biden is due to meet Afghan President Ashraf Ghani, and Peace Chief Abdullah Abdullah on Friday, to discuss the situation. In the interview on Sunday, Khan said, he feared, that a civil war could follow the planned U.S. troop withdrawal. In case the Taliban go for an all-out victory, there is going to be an incredible amount of bloodshed and, let me tell you, the country, that is going to suffer the most after Afghanistan is going to be Pakistan, he said. Khan also ruled out, the possibility of Pakistan allowing its territory to be used for U.S. military bases, that could support Afghan forces, there is no way we are going to allow any bases, any sort of action from Pakistani territory into Afghanistan, he said. Absolutely not. We will be partners in peace, not in conflict, he said. Under the Obama administration's ramped-up drone war in Afghanistan, and Pakistan, Pakistan had secretly allowed the U.S. to operate drones both over Pakistani territory, and from at least one base in the southwest of the country. In 2011, leaked U.S. diplomatic cables showed, that Pakistan had provided tacit approval for the use of U.S. drone attacks on Pakistani soil, even while publicly condemning them. Stay tuned for the latest news.